Hey guys, this is Ashwini and welcome to the Spring Security course. Till now, we have completed uh, six videos in this course. If you haven't watched those, I strongly recommended you to just go through my channel and you will find all these videos under this playlist. Okay, so without waste time, let's start today's video. So till now, we have configured our user detail with the help of in-memory authentication and in-memory user detail manager, right? But we haven't discussed the relationship between all these components, like whatever the internal relationship these are following. Because without understand that internal relationship, we will not have that clear picture on our mind. Like this is just like we are remembering these uh, all this code, like what we need to do, right? But this is not necessary because when we understand the internal relationships, it is very easy to configure like user details, right? So. To make you understand that whole relationship, I want to take you to this diagram of user management. Okay, why I am saying here this is a user management, why I have marked as a user management here. Okay, because let's suppose I want to use your application. Okay, then I am a user and you want to perform your authentication and authorization on user detail, on my detail, whatever the username and password I will provide. So this whole process of taking information or fetching information or loading information and putting up authorization and authentication on that, that is called a user management, right? Yeah. So we will start from the bottom because this is a like core component here. So we have this uh, user detail first component here, user detail. It is an interface from the first video we are discussing about it. It defined the schema of user, which you're going to deal in your application. And it has this uh, methods like get password, get username, get authorities, right? And get account. These all methods it have. These are abstract method. Let's suppose in future you have a requirement to just uh, define your schema, your schema for user in your application. So you have to uh, use this interface and give an implementation for all those methods, whatever the present in time this interface, right? if you are going to implement that so next component is user detail service user detail service we have checked here in this definition which we are uh, discussed in previous video right user detail service so what is user detail service user detail service is responsible to fetch my data okay from where like it will fetch your data from your database or ldap server or it will fetch data from the like container in memory a memory of application so it has this method called load username load user by username and it has a written type that is type of user detail okay because as you can see here we are just user detail service extend this particular interface okay user detail one so this is only applicable when we are having a requirement to fetching a data okay when we are having a requirement to fetch data and on top of that we have user detail manager interface so what is the difference between user detail manager and this user detail service particular this user detail manager and user detail what is the difference in uh, between both of these let's suppose you have a requirement to fetch a data and you have a requirement to configure your data like user data you want to be configure your data like setting up like creating a user setting a password for that setting a author, uh, authorities for that so it has a method this particular interface has a method that create user update user delete user change password user access so we have seen one method uh, related to this you can see here that is a create user right and we are calling with the help of this user detail service and this is a reference of this user detail manager right as you can check here and this user detail manager uh, let me take you to the diagram user detail manager right yeah so if you can map it from here in memory user detail manager we will talk about it okay then we will have clear idea so you have this create user one okay so when you want to configure your data and you have a requirement to fetch also then you can use these component these two component okay so basically this is used for configuration this is used for config okay and this is used for fetching now what is about all these three component 
all these three components like this one this one and this one so this first one in memory user detail manager if you can check we already have talked about in previous video and we use this right so this is an implementation for your user detail manager so these three classes here in memory user detail manager jdbc user detail manager or ldap uh, manager user detail manager this is an implementation for user detail manager okay let's suppose if this uh, default uh, implementation provided by the spring security framework you don't want to use that then you can just implement this and you can create your own implementation okay so now you i think you have understand like uh, what is this in memory user detail manager because we have previously used and now you can have that uh, clear picture in your mind like what is all this diagram so we will, in future video we will connect our application to database then we will use this uh, jdbc user detail manager okay yeah if you have any question related to this whole diagram and the working how all these are working then please comment it down i am happy to answer till then see you Bye-bye.